On December 30th of 2024, the Earth will witness a phenomenon known as a black moon. This is when there are two new moons that appear in a calendar month. This is a lesser known phenomenon than the blue moon, which occurs when there are two full moons in a calendar month or season. In this video, we will look at the differences and similarities between a blue moon and a black moon, as well as some common misconceptions about each type of occurrence. Let's start with the more well-known blue moon phenomenon. First, a blue moon refers to the full moon lunar phase of the lunar cycle, and there are multiple definitions for this term. A monthly blue moon is when there is a second full moon in a calendar month, but you can also have a seasonal blue moon, which means that there is a fourth full moon within a three-month season. Normally, there are only three full moons in a season, but sometimes a fourth can occur, and that is defined as a blue moon. The next blue moon occurrence that I could discover occurs in 2026 in the month of May, with a full moon on May 1st and then another on May 31st. It is important to note that when talking about a blue moon, it's not talking about the actual color of the moon, but rather how many full moons are happening within a specific time period. However, there are some occurrences in which the moon can look blue. For example, when a volcano erupts, the gas from an eruption can cause the moon to appear blue. This happened in 1983 with the eruption of Krakatoa. There were so many gases discharged into the air that the moon appeared to be blue in color. Now let's review what a black moon is. This occurrence is entirely about the new moon phase, and this is the phase in which we cannot see the moon at all because the lit portion of the moon is facing away from Earth. A black moon, like the blue moon, has more than one definition. A monthly black moon occurs when there are more than two new moons in a calendar month, and a seasonal black moon is when there is an extra new moon during a three-month period. Typically, there are three new moons per season, but if there are four, it's classified as a black moon. When looking at this image of the solar eclipse, please keep in mind that the black moon is not referring to the solar eclipse itself, but rather the lunar phase that's occurring at this moment, which is the new moon phase. And a solar eclipse only happens during the new moon phase when the moon is hiding the sun. The next black moon will occur on December 30th of 2024. Now let's review these concepts using a Venn diagram to show the similarities and differences between a black moon and a blue moon. The two ways in which a blue moon and black moon are similar is that they are both in reference to a lunar phase change and both are rare occurrences that happen every two to three years. In terms of differences, a blue moon is when there's an extra full moon in a calendar month or a season, and it's a phenomenon that's actually visible in the night sky. When you hear that phrase, once in a blue moon, this is meant to describe a rare event, not that the moon is actually blue in color. A black moon is in reference to a new moon phase and how often they occur. There can be two new moons in a month or an extra fourth new moon in a season. And the most obvious difference with a black moon is that it is invisible in the sky. We cannot see a new moon since the illuminated portion of the moon is facing away from the Earth. We've come to the end of our video about a blue moon versus a black moon, so let's review everything we've learned so far. A blue moon and a black moon are similar in the sense that we are talking about a lunar phase change. They're both rare in occurrence, and they have multiple definitions for both of them. However, they're different in the sense that when we're talking about different moon phases, a blue moon is in reference to a full moon, and a black moon is in reference to a new moon. And the major difference between both of them is that one is visible while the other is not. I only recently learned what a black moon is. I didn't even know it was a thing. And this is what I love about astronomy. There's always something new to discover. No matter how many books I read or websites I explore, I'm constantly uncovering fascinating facts. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do have a playlist I called Versus Videos where I compare different astronomy concepts. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I'll include a link to it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Keep going outside, observe the sky, enjoy being in nature, and as always, keep looking up.